Greetings everyone, I'm working on the guide as we speak, it'll be the next video. For now, enjoy these two games where I voice my thoughts out loud. Uh, so I see they have Sludra and Zarya, and right now I'm thinking of just finding out the rest of their combo. I see the Ana shot, I take the height, I'm waiting on tab here to unlock in 3 seconds it should. Yeah. Have mercy. Why do they have that? Okay, I'm gonna go pressure point here. Cause they have to come to me. Right? But this way we split them up. And Zarya gets cut off from her supports. Nice. Let's see. You see the queen up here. I'm gonna uh, jump in between her and body block. And block off her heels as best I can. Can't really block any heels though, but it'll be fine as is. Alright, sorry. I can't block mercy heels. Uh, Right click charge moment. Okay, I'm looking at this sword. She's cooked. We see the mercy. We see the Ana. Uh, I'm gonna push the payload because I'll let these guys hunt her down. Uh, I'm just gonna chill on cart. Move it as fast as possible here. They got one fight. Uh, for and we have one fight for us to win. I'm here to help our venture. And right, we see the mercy. I don't have bubbles, so I need to run back. I want to grab this Mega here because I can't peek for my Ana to heal me. I also give time for the passives to kick in for me at least to get my armor. Now, I see the Soj shooting here. It does the slide. We chase. We heard the sleep too. They swapped the Malga. I didn't press tab in time to see. So it's a very spooky time. We're going to try and zap his armor away. He notices us. So we jump back. We just land right clicks whenever we can. We're looking. We're spacing. Can we see the Mega on left? So we're going to go on right on um, back line. Get slept. Unfortunately, they're all gonna set up and try and kill me, but they won't get it. We get the soldier because she uses her slide for nothing. We see the mercy fly away. I accidentally zap him, but it's okay. The mercy wings push me away. I always complain about it, but I won't this time. I'm a little too busy to be doing so. But as long as I keep these two busy, my teammates should be able to deal with the Malga in the back at some point. We get to cap the point. Nice. Any comp no changes? Not really. Uh, they might. They use Nano. They use Valve. They'll probably have Bob and Overclock here coming up. Uh, Cage is probably around 40 to 60 percent. Didn't really keep track of how much he did. Well, you notice he's getting pushed back, so we're gonna apply some pressure to him. Let them use their resources to give my team the space. All the cards moving up for free. I'm not really looking to engage. Okay, so. Carrot. Carrot. I don't have a lot Maga, to do. Maga. No, my guy ult is not for a little bit. Okay, they're playing really far back, so I just need to sit on cart and not take damage and let my team do their poke and gain their ults. Like they we're setting up for tectonic shock here. The Malga pushed up too far, so you go to punish the back line because they come up to help chase too. Uh, I see the Soj, I squish her, and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna look to body block and push people off the point while my teammate caps. Hopefully they sit on point. Uh, they just pop out, so they'll always have a touch. So if we just step back for a second, let them waste their ultimate. Make sure none of my teammates die in the meantime, as best I can. Overclock's about to run out, so we chase. She slides. Pop ult. We're fine. Get the kill. Uh, Ana's there. Uh, they pop Bob too, okay? Popping has so many ults here. I'm just looking to get out. We're gonna bubble our Moyer, or our uh, Widow. Not enter the cage. They should be fine. I don't want to take away as much as I can. Ah! I think it's a lost fight. Time to disengage. Alright, so we just wait for everyone to walk up here. Or for them to also respawn. So they're going to be pressuring me on my walk up here. My Ana should be able to heal me here. Oh, she missed her nade. Yeah, I have orbs, so that's fine. We're going to take high ground just so I can safely scout out where they're at. I see the mercy on cart. And the Mega far up, so I'm gonna put pressure on Cart while my teammates begin to collapse on the Malga. I wish they would have walked up a little bit quicker, but that's okay. Yeah, I see the Soja in here, so I'm gonna press the Soja. She's cooked. I'm gonna hop on Payload, pressure it. They're gonna force to come to me to contest, otherwise, you know, we're just gonna win. I need my teammates here to walk up and play with me, but they wanna sit really far back right now so I don't really have a way for me to engage without insta dying I just bubble them main and I guess I wait for the widow to uh, shoot someone I guess I don't know 
not really a whole lot to be done here. Like, I need them to play kind of up with me. This guy walks up, so we move back. We're just looking to see if he charges back at us. We're just going to keep pressuring point while this guy does his thing. And kind of distract them here as much as we can while my team collapses in with me. Oh, look, the Melga's back. So we hide a little bit. We get nano, so we can just commit. Hide behind the barrier, block his healing, block all his damage. Doesn't get health. The Mercy Reds is through the thing. Unlucky. But that's okay, because the cage is worn off. He still dies again instantly. We see the Mercy, but we don't have to worry about her because we cap and we win. Nice. I wonder how the second half is going to go. On defense, it's going to be a little bit more chaotic, and I'm going to have to think a little bit quicker, so I might not be able to speak as fast, but I'm going to try my best. We have Ball Genji, Sojourn Moira. Uh, who's the last one? I'm assuming it's Kiri. That's right. Okay, we're just chilling for now. I'm going to give them the bus stop. Just kidding. We're going to hover over it. Just keep them pressure to the back, because again, she falls in on stairs. So I'm just looking to space these guys out. We're just waiting to see what they do here. I'm gonna help my venture. It's probably a mistake because I'm giving up a lot of space this way. But they don't really have the means to take space. I can just sit here and fight the Genji of course out some cooldowns. They instant swap the queen. Don't wanna be caught in this slow field so we can leave. As you can see that we're they went back to hog now. This is making it very difficult. Ah uh, I need to get going somewhere, but I don't really have anywhere to go. I'm just gonna pop my barrier here. We can give up one tick, no problem. There's the hook. Uh, there, big trend. I'm gonna fight the Kiriko here as best I can. She's gonna look to TP to a teammate. I'm gonna look to chase, because that's all her cooldown. She's Suzu. The Moira's not gonna look this way, because Moira players never look at teammates, let's be real. Uh, I'm gonna get hooked and die. Unlucky. We're gonna nano venture and dead eye. There's an enemy here. I got hindered by my own teammate. It's okay. Not bad. Okay, now we're gonna look to drop on top of the Zen in the back line. And instead use our primal to kill two because they killed one of ours. They also pop blade even though I killed two. I'm gonna push the Moira into back line. Let the cast hinder. Now they have no supports and they're probably thinking like what the Team. They're so angry. I thought he got hooked. It, if he if he did get hooked, it would have been a good bubble, but because he didn't, it's not a good bubble. Or it's a mediocre bubble, I would say. Uh, take the height here and drop out. We're gonna bubble the choke for my team. They have a trace of the touch, but it doesn't really matter because they die. Uh, now we're going to look to body block anyone that's coming by. And never mind. That's going to be the game. Let's go. I, I hope that was enjoyable to watch. Uh, I think I I think I think explained a lot of my thoughts. There's definitely a lot more like going on in the background. <laughs> but those are like the, the more prominent thoughts about what I'm doing. Uh, like... The, the small thoughts I would have had would have been just like micro things like, oh, checking my bubble cooldown, checking my, my ammo, right? Looking for ways to uh, to make the situation that I'm in a lot better for myself or if there's anything that I can do and, you know, what cooldowns I'd need to use to either save myself or capitalize on the enemy's mistakes. So, uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful in some way. Welcome. Taking high here, just looking for uh, targets. See that I have double hit scan, cast soldier, bath. Like a triple hit scan, uh, Ilari, quadruple hit scan, and Orisa. I'm gonna look to bubble off the Orisa heals here. Stop the team. My team should save me with Suzu and the other abilities that we got. I wanna focus on caps since I don't have barrier. They can still fight though. I'm gonna be looking at this soldier here on left. Drops the seal field down. The cast is also coming after me, so I'm gonna disengage. There's no bubble. I'm gonna look to zap out the. Uh, I can't zap it. Disengage here. We just need to condense on this side of the map for now. On the opposite side of where the enemies are, and I've made the mistake of jumping into. Well, they kind of split, so. The full six seconds. 
Now we just push out the diva. We use the bubble at the choke. We can't really do much. Hopefully the tracer doesn't die. They do. We're gonna look to body block, but the diva boops the mercy anyways. Bubble might seem so that they don't die. They force lamp. Kind of look and focus on building alt here, attacking both supports, knowing that they don't have uh, knowing that they don't have lamp. I can kind of disengage. Perfectly juggle that guy. Beat up that guy. Come back for the diva. I can hit through matrix, so I kill her. And we get the zap if no one dies. I could have bubbled the 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 ult, but seeing my team, I didn't really need to use bubble this way. I can walk up here and bubble and have in time. They swapped the Reaper, which I definitely should have checked by pressing tab, so I'm a little scared. I'm gonna jump back. Let my team heal me up in the meantime. Wait for my team to disengage. They're walking in with visor here. I'm gonna look to contest them a little bit. I'm also gonna kill this pylon first and then jump to the backside of point. Waiting for my bubble to come back up in five seconds. I'm gonna chase the D.Va, break her armor as best I can. Turn around for reload. Have the D.Va chase me. Have the Reaper chase me to bubble dance. Let my team do the rest of the work. They have her 1 HP, they're just gonna stagger her. They got her from here. Easy. I'm gonna look to bubble my venture out. They have Bastion and Reaper and D.Va now, so it's a little spooky. We hear that Bastion changes form, and I don't have bubbles, so regardless, we can't escape. We see the Reaper pop Wraith already, but they have to come to us. 15 seconds left for 15%. Uh, the Reaper height. I just need to contest point against this Reaper, so let's sit here and try not to die against all these counters as best as I can. You see that Bastion form is over. I'm going to hope that my team sees that too. They fight him with me. Pop the ult, I don't want to punch him just yet, because he's in the bubble, none of my teammates are in danger. Get the bat, get the diva, bubble just in case mech, play the bubble here against it, chase the Ilari, and get her, and that's it, easy round. Right, I'm going to be looking to take the little height that we can in taking height. I think TP they didn't realize. We probably should have taken the TP. Would have made it up here just a smidge faster. You see the Malga Reaper cast Mercy. The Malga chases us. I'm hoping to see a teammate here soon. I don't. And I don't know why. I don't really know why we didn't have anyone beside me. We definitely should. Because now we're in a really awkward position where I'm a little low. I'm going to look to contest their height here a little bit. Oh, this guy double fans. I think I'm just gonna just walk behind cover here. Wait for my mercy to heal as best she can. She cannot. I'm just thinking about how I'm gonna engage. The only person I can really engage on on their team is the cast and the bat, but they have a lot of cooldowns that will just put a misery to me or make me miserable. I see the cast is split here. I'm gonna look to split him up even harder. Get my team on point here as best they can. I need these guys to walk in and shoot this guy while my bubble's up. I'm gonna drop to the center for a second. We might sell some time for a bubble cooldown to come up. We hear the cooldown's coming up. Got a bubble choke here against the two DBS. The Reaper jumped into the pit, so I'm gonna chase the cast. The Mauga is gonna chase the Winton. I'm gonna get hindered. I'm gonna back out here. I'm gonna try and bubble my sim before she dies. I'm gonna punish the Malga while he's in the bubble. Just like that. We get the cap. Okay. Uh, we're looking to poke out here just a little bit. Hopefully, maybe get a cheeky kill or uh, and get the last little bit of ult percentage we got. I want to bubble my venture before they die here. Uh, so the time that I'm looking to use bubble is before an engagement happens. And they're gonna be looking to just ult me primarily. Like you can see this Malga here. This guy really wants me, so I'm gonna get this bap instead. I missed up a jump. I'm gonna jump over to my Ana here. Let her heal me up. We already killed both DPS, so I'm gonna walk back here and bubble up the Malga heals from the Fury I saw on the left. 
but she TPs across anyways. It's okay. I'm looking to bubble choke. It's probably a mistake, so I'm gonna try and jump out here. I jumped to the wrong side of the wall. I I should have jumped in front of him to boot him back to the safer side of the wall for me and my team. I get ulted and I'm in the cage. I want to help my Ana as best I can. I should walk a bit closer on that bubble. They don't have point. I don't think that they know that. So I'm just going to waste their time here while we're looking about. I don't have to touch till about half, which is like now. I'm going to jump right onto point. This is a mistake, kind of. Give my team some time to touch. I got nano, so I get to touch too. Oh, they're popping so many alts. I think we're dead. It just, it's not too big of a deal. So I'm going to spend the next five-ish seconds just looking for right clicks and scouting out where we can hop to. You see the BAP and cast in back left, which is perfect for us. So it's just about thinking about how we're going to get there. And I think there's one big jump over should let us get to it. Press alt. Try to contest the BAP. These guys all do their sh I jumped back into the Kitsune Malga, which is definitely a mistake. But they were chasing me anyways in the Kitsune, so a little bit rough on my end. As we're going to be looking to take height here against them, we see that they have the Malga again and the cast. They're all taking height as well, so I'm actually going to play lower. Because if I just play into them, it's not too good. I'm going to look to see where my venture goes. Let them begin the engagement with their burst. And support them here. We see the Magma coming for us. We're going to be looking to jump out through the window. Be very sneaky. Use the cover that we have with the little barriers on the floor. We're chilling. We see the Magma has dropped, so we take height. I'm going to annoy the carry coach. She's going to TP here. We're going to engage on the carry. Get her. The Malga's gonna keep chasing us because he's a dumb dumb. Ah, he chased me too. Uh, we see no one bottom left. We see no one in the cure corridor. We see the carry up height here. Maybe he's zapping her out. We see the cast height. I'm gonna jump to this window hopefully. I run into a Reaper, get scared, run back. Hoping that he would chase and fall into my team, but he's a little bit smarter than that, unfortunately, so. I'm gonna be looking to just poke here. I don't really have a way to engage. I can kind of pressure point and force someone to drop. Eventually they'll have to, so as long as I survive, we're okay. The Reaper drops on me and the Malga. My venture dies to Casty. I'm gonna take the height here, knowing that he doesn't have Hinder. I should be okay. The Reaper chases me, so I'm gonna peel back to my Ana. My children dies. Looking for my honor, making sure she's okay. I'm gonna jump back. I'm gonna pop alt here, so I'm gonna look to j bubble main and then hop up three, two, or on this pink. Don't go that guy above the ground so he can't pop the lamp on the floor. Chase the carry, get the kill, easy. My team pops four ults. Kinda whack since they didn't pop anything in this 10%. They're gonna look to cage me as soon as I get close to them here. So I'm gonna look to cut them off halfway before they can get to height. Unfortunately, I don't get that chance. So that's why we gotta jump out. Can't really, I can't contest them. Since we don't have the, uh, since we don't have the point presence like they do, like they have they have Reaper cast Malga. No tank is gonna be able to engage without uh, without getting just absolutely obliterated. They're gonna sit here and blame me, but I don't think it's my fault considering they've died more than I have, and I'm facing three counters. So they're gonna work on getting the touch and then cry and GG go next. I don't know about that game. That game is really hard, but like sometimes there's just nothing that you can do. Like it's more team reliant and yes, I could have come towards them, but then I wouldn't be able to explain my thought process. Like if I have three people countering me and my team is dying more than I am, even though they're all looking my way, then I don't really know what to say. Also, we're on Ana Mercy. Like we're, we're on Ana Mercy Venture Sojourn for some reason. Wait, 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 wait,
Oui, oui, oui.